Coming up on this episode of Rambler Sports Locker, we got the highlights for the Loyola women's soccer team after they beat the LaSalle Explorers 1-0. Plus a recap on the recent Loyola women's soccer match against LaSalle and a look at the men's golf tournament. Also, a look at Loyola women's volleyball, as well as a special segment of Lucas Learns with Lucas Kim. I'm Elizabeth Winchester. And I'm Isaac Norton. Rambler Sports Locker begins now. Welcome back to another episode of Rambler Sports Locker. It's mid-September and Mother Nature hasn't quite decided if it's summer or fall yet. But despite the confusion, Loyola Sports is pushing through, even if it's shorts weather one game and hoodie weather the next. You got that right, Isaac. The women's soccer team got off to a great start this past Sunday. They sure did, Elizabeth. After moving to the Atlantic 10 Conference on July 1st, the Loyola women's soccer match against LaSalle was the university's first game in the A-10 Conference. The Loyola women's soccer team walked away with a win on September 18th at Loyola Soccer Park. The Ramblers are now 5-2-2 overall and 1-0 in conference play. The game was secured after Corissa Kuntz's goal in the 71st minute. This was the only goal by either team during the game. The game ended with a final score of 1-0. According to Loyola Athletics, head coach Barry Bimby said that he was proud that the Loyola women's soccer team won the university's first Atlantic 10 home game. It was an amazing game. I can't wait to see what the Loyola women's soccer team has in store for the rest of the season. Me too, Isaac. Today, we have a special edition of Lucas Learns, where our very own Lucas Kim takes to the Loyola community to test the knowledge of students on NFL and college football. What's up guys, it's Lucas Kim here, back with another edition of Lucas Learns. Today I'm going around Loyola University Chicago's campus, asking students about their NFL trivia, so let's get straight into it. All right, what's your name? Marco. I'm Elena. What's your name? Renata. All right, I'm gonna be asking you three questions at the, about the NFL. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yes. Question number one, how many teams are in the NFL? 32. 50. Um, 20. Who is the oldest active player in the NFL today? Tom Brady. Can I get a hint, like a team? He plays for the Buccaneers. Tom Brady. Isn't it Tom Brady? All right, this is a tough one. Third question, what is the second oldest NFL franchise in existence? The Green Bay Packers. The Patriots. I'm just gonna say the Bears. Cause... You got it right. You got to win the Super Bowl this year. I want the Dolphins to win. The Dolphins? Yeah. Good choice. I got the Buccaneers. The Bears. The Bears. We like that. <laughs> That's about it for NFL trivia and Lucas learns. For the Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Lucas Kim. Thanks, Lucas. Now I feel like I need to brush up on my football knowledge. Me too, Elizabeth. I'm a sports management major and some of those questions were tricky for me. And now back to Loyola Sports News. The women's golf team dominated at the Cardinal Classic Tournament last week in Muncie, Indiana. Let's send it over to Andrea Baroni with the highlights. The Loyola women's golf team headed down to Muncie, Indiana on Monday to compete in the Cardinal Classic where they made history setting multiple course records. Loyola took the team title while breaking the record for all-time team low and first ever under par team with a combined score of 287 strokes in the second round. Graduate student Serena Shaw set the tone for the Ramblers with her hole-in-one on the seventh hole. Shaw set a new program low and broke her own personal record to take second place overall. Graduate student Lorenza Martinez shot two under par in her second round to tie her own personal record and join Shaw on the leaderboard in seventh place. The sophomore pair, Grace Suter and Jolie Brochu, finished in the top 20. Suter coming in at 13th and Brochu just two strokes behind her at 19th place. Freshman Addie Makey tied for 27th and junior Abby Thielbar finished off the Ramblers with a tie for 47th place. The Ramblers ended the weekend with a combined score of 879 to scare the first win for their head coach, Brandi Johnston. These women are on par for success as they turn their attention to the Shirley Spoke Invitational on October 1st. Reporting for the Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Andrea Veroni. Thanks, Andrea. Here is one of the games you can check out this weekend. The Loyola women's volleyball team travels to Washington, D.C. to take on George Washington University in its first Atlantic 10 matchup. The Ramblers are coming off a tough weekend where the team suffered losses to the University of Illinois Chicago, DePaul University, and Northwestern University. With a 5 p.m. match on Friday and a 1 p.m. Saturday matinee, the team hopes to get back on track and start off its time in the A-10 strong. Thanks, Isaac. Well, that wraps up this episode of Rambler Sports Locker. 
To stay up to date on all things Rambler Sports, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Loyola RSL and subscribe to our YouTube channel. From all of us here at Rambler Sports Locker, I'm Isaac Norton. And I'm Elizabeth Winchester. And don't forget to turn off the lights.